Mr. Grant. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are naming this phone the Tamtong WD750 TI. <laughs> Day two. No sign of planes. Still no fresh water. It seems my three companions have no real practical experience to speak of, as they were on board the plane to attend a marketing conference entitled Making Big Ideas Float. <laughs> However, I still entertain high hopes that we shall soon find a way off this wretched island. They are going to be looking for us. So I suggest the first thing we do is write a giant S.O.S. in the sand so it can be seen from the air. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, but is it enough? Enough? Well, S.O.S., I mean, it's, it's to the point, but it's just what everyone says, isn't it? I'm sorry? No, I have to agree, actually. S.O.S., I mean, we've all kind of seen it before, haven't we? A little bit obvious for me. Well, it is the international symbol for distress. Yeah, but it's a received wisdom. So if everyone's thinking the same way, surely that means nobody's thinking for his or herself. No. Well, it's what you do. Exactly why we should do something else. When the world zigs, zag. <laughs> right, let's think laterally. A plane flies overhead. A pilot takes a look down on the beach of an apparently deserted island. He sees a message. Question. What does that message say? <laughs> Help. Maybe a bit desperate, needy. Quite off putting, actually. I really can't. No, no, Captain. Success comes in cans, not can'ts. What? <laughs> I know. Why don't we try something more psychological? Like it. What are you thinking? Well, see, you're an airline pilot. What is it that's going to make you want to save us? Conscience. Please. We're missing a trick here. What do we need? Don't know. Come on. An incentive. Let's pull that goddamn pilot out of the sky with an offer he can't refuse. Christ, 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 you're right. I'm thinking 10% off everything on this island. Great, we write in coconuts to give an idea of what's on offer. It's a big idea. Or how about a simple free? <sighs> most persuasive phrase in the world. No. The second most persuasive. How about... Brilliant. Oh, my God! <laughs> Now, the build-up to Sportsfest 2010 is really picking up pace. It's a very exciting time for us. And we're very proud because a decision's been made regarding our official logo. Yeah. That's Ooh. right. We have had the best design team in London working on it. Paul Adams, no less, wow. has personally worked on this logo. We hope you're as energised and as impressed by it as we are. Mm. Mark. Well, without further ado, the official logo for Sportsfest 2010. Jason, you don't seem sure. No, no. No. I think it's good. Um, I, was, I was just thinking... W w would it work in a different colour? Well, judge for yourself. I mean, here it is in, in pink. Yeah, yeah, I prefer it like that. Sue, you've always got something to say. Um... Uh... The different colours kind of um, express the diversity of what we're trying to achieve here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What I like about it is it's, uh, it's very forceful. It's very confident. Yes, there's a, a kinetic energy to it and a um, sense of urgency. Yeah, well, that's, that's it. I mean, that, that was actually precisely what the brief was. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Gary? Yeah, I don't know. Um, don't you think it's a bit, you know, bum sexy? I just, I just think it's a little bit kind of, um... Mm. <laughs> you know, a bit... Mm. <laughs> well, no. Um, what we've done is we've, we've captured the uh, symbolic handover moment from the relay event. I, I think that's really emblematic, isn't it? 2010. No, no, don't get me wrong, I, I like it. You know, I mean, I really like it. I, I just wonder if it's a little bit... You know, but maybe it's just me. I don't think anyone else will notice that. No. <laughs>
a couple of minor problems with the last logo, um, but we've been back to the drawing board. That's right. We realised we needed to throw some serious money at it. Mm. Money well spent, though. So we got Matha Smith and Epstein on board, and they've come up with something quite different. Lovely and functional. A little bit Bauhaus. <laughs> We're excited. We hope you are too.